An evening like this is every playwright's right of facet. It's a play about a play called It's Only a Play. It's opening night and it's curtain has come down an hour or so before. It's a terrifying evening that we all spend when we wait for the reviews. A feeling the cast knows too well. It's unbearable. The opening night is horrible. <laughs> Horror turned to humor by four-time Tony winning playwright Terrence McNally. You know when you meet someone and you know instantly that they're your friend? Absolutely. That's what his work does for me. He's uh, my favorite writer. I only created the lead in his one and only hit and no mention. The egos in this business. <laughs> Broadway veteran Nathan Lane takes on the role of a stage actor turned TV star. I think you walk into a room and people smile. Do you know that? That's because my fly is always open. There he is, America's oldest living, most promising young playwright. Hello, Peter. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, you came. Joining him on stage, longtime pal Matthew Broderick in the role of the play's writer. I love him, you know, and I love working with him. I'm, one of my ears is listening to him right now, I know, I know. so. His voice is just so nice. Yeah, well, it's a tuba. He's a big tuba. We hit it off years ago. You know, we really, you know, we first worked together in the, in the Lion King as doing voice work. Our next meet, I was this is my associate, Mr. Bloom. We have an appointment with renowned theatrical director, Roger Green. The duo made Broadway history in 2001 with the producers, a show that won 12 Tonys. You changed your name. After your review, I changed my face. Well, I think they're lining up this time because of the, the cumulative effect of all of these wonderful actors. Actors like Stalker Channing, Megan Mullally, and F. Murray Abraham. It's just a privilege. I've never worked with a better group in my life. Plus newcomers, Micah Stock and Rupert Grint of Harry Potter fame. It's an absolute dream. I just walk into the rehearsal room every day sort of beaming. Somebody tell me, when is it my turn to fail? Yeah, I play a character who's kind of quite troubled and complicated, so it's it's been fun. I've never played anyone unlike this, so it's it's been fun to explore that. You've got to believe me, I'm no good. <laughs> I believe you. Can we go down now, Julia? <laughs> We're all very happy to, to be in the in the room, as they say. Everybody's wonderful and everybody's so specific, and you couldn't get seven more different people. But all have the same goal.